Thursday around 7.30 in the evening, the Connecticut State Police Violent Task Force, along with multiple agencies, were attempting to execute an arrest warrant for 42-year-old Von Malloy on Mechanic Street in Pocatuck. This is a Connecticut State Police with a warrant. Step away from the front door. The arrest warrant issued on June of last year was for a first degree assault charge after Malloy allegedly fired his gun into the front of a home in April, striking a woman. Since then, the gun Malloy used has not been found by police. When the warrant was being served last Thursday, police gave numerous verbal commands for Malloy to come out of his home. On Malloy, come to the front door, your hands up and nothing in your hands. With no response from Malloy, officers decided to break down his front door. That is when Malloy was seen with the gun leaving behind a back door, and officers were telling him to stop. Left side, he's running! He's running! 40 up, 40 40. Up. As Malloy kept running, K9 Bronco was released to apprehend him. Put your hands up! Malloy fell to the ground and fired shots at K-9 Bronco. You then see Bronco on the ground crying. <laughs> Officers then fired multiple shots at Malloy, who was later pronounced dead. Oh. Gun to the right side by his hip. The following Friday morning, state police announced K-9 Bronco died in the line of duty, protecting his handler, his community, and his fellow troopers. Later in the afternoon, a procession was held for K-9 Bronco at Piper Veterinary Hospital in Middletown, where law enforcement members from across the state showed up for support.